Hi, everybody. Wow, so it's been a while since my last podcast. And the reason is because I kind of got bogged down in a feeling of wanting the podcast to be perfect and um, wanting to be able to have perfect sound and perfect speech. And, you know, um, this morning I kind of came around to the fact that Nothing's perfect, and this podcast will not be perfect, and life is not perfect. So I am going to dive right back into this and give you a bit of an update. So exciting. Um, I've been in touch, of course, with our director, Sylvia Kamner, and with our consulting producer, Scott DuPont, um, out of L.A., and they have been so supportive and so patient with me as I learn the ropes. So here's the thing. We're having a party. The party is next Tuesday. It's July 25th. Here's why we're having the party. Sylvia is is going to be here in town writing with me. Over the last couple months, actually the last couple weeks, I have been rounding up all of the archives that I collected through the years. So all the things Arnie and I did from speeches at schools to photographs to his audio book and personal videos that he made in my house talking just to me. Um, experiences we had when we went to Cobalt to speak with his brothers and sisters, brothers mostly, um, Oh, actually his sisters. Yeah, brothers and sisters up in Cobalt. And I mean, that's been a really emotional journey for me so far because I hadn't looked at those things in a while because, you know, life happens and you really have to be in the right mental state to look at all that stuff again because it is quite emotional. I've been reaching out to people, getting in touch, getting things going. So in Barrie, there's a lot of people kind of stirring getting other people back in the groove of the Arnie story. I mean, it's been 10 years. And if you think about it, the students that heard Arnie heard him for one hour in their whole life 10 years ago. How many of them still remember? I don't know. I don't know if anybody is going to come forward. But I think The third part of this documentary is going to be the most magical and exciting part because that's where we really get to test it out. I mean, a mentor of mine said once, okay, Janet Lee, you have all these great ideas and you're taking action. How do you know it it actually worked? How do you know? And I, I, and I looked at her and she kind of, it stopped me in my tracks and I thought, you know, I don't know if it, if it made a difference or worked. This third part of the documentary where Sylvia and I actually return to Canada and see if we can find some people, that's how you're, how I'm going to know if it mattered or worked. I know it mattered to me, and there are people that have reached out already, but I want to know if it's a big deal up there or not. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And you know what? I'm absolutely open to whatever happens because life is a journey. So much has happened since Arnie was even alive. I mean, we've had COVID. We've had, you know, the change in politics. We've, there's so much that's happened since Arnie was even here. Does it matter still that he shared his story? It matters to me, but does it matter to others? So that's going to be important. We're having a party next week. Here's why. Sylvia's in town. And she's never been to Safety Harbor before. And for those of you who know what Safety Harbor is like, this place is an experience filled with magical people. (laughs) I'm telling you, it's not, I'm not even exaggerating. When this town comes together, magic happens. So here's the thing. I, I, was, I went over to Giggle Waters and I let them know what we were doing. I said, you know, the director's in town and we want to have some people together to, to talk about the pre-production of the film and, and, you know, where we are in our journey. And Giggle Waters came back with, hey, Janet Lee, about, I don't know how many years ago, seven years ago, you showed up at our door with a free 
sandwich board. It was like this beautiful display board I had. And you gave it to us. And we remember that. And we believe in you. So we're giving you the theater in our restaurant for free for your event. Okay, so that's super touching and kind of just tells you what it's like around here. Um, and then <laughs> the invites kind of happened. I, I had um, at Walgreens, there, were, there was a sale on prints. So I had to print 75 tickets just to get a deal up at Walgreens, right? I ended up having 75 tickets. I only needed 32. But in the last week, so many people have shown interest and in, in have I come across my path and I thought, you know what? Like, I just want everybody there. So I started giving out more tickets. We have at least 70 people coming right now. This is a big deal. And, <laughs> but the theater only holds, holds 32 people. So what I decided is that we will do two of our little presentations. And the presentation is not the movie. And I want everybody to understand that. The movie's not done yet. We still have to do the third part. So I have all the archives done. I have all the interviews with Arnie and his family and the kids. But going back to Canada is the third part of this documentary. The mysterious part. The most uh, influential part. Because if it works out, then... (sighs) then we'll know that this is um, a story that can change the world. Um, but anyway, so the, the party is about meeting Sylvia. Everybody's also going to meet Scott DuPont, who is our consulting producer, and he is out of L.A. Now, he's not coming to Safety Harbor this week. Sylvia is going to be here in the flesh, which is so exciting. She's super cool. Like, I'm telling you, she's really cool. Um She's coming, and then Scott is going to zoom in. So you will get to meet Scott. Scott's going to talk a little bit about, you know, projects that he's gotten behind in the past and why this one's so important to him as well. Listen, I've been trying to get somebody to, to, to get on board with me to make this movie for a long time, and I even put it down and forgot about it. All of you know that story. Scott and Sylvia are on board. They signed contracts with me. And we're doing this. So really excited for you to meet them. The next thing is there was a documentary made by two eighth grade students. Kids, two boys, okay? They decided that they wanted to tell the story of Arnie and they wanted to follow us. So they did. I said, all right, that's fine. I mean, I want to make this documentary, but you guys can come. You can make a documentary too. And so they made an 11 minute documentary. This documentary film is made by kids. And you can tell, I mean, it, there's like audio issues, but it's really well done. I mean, if you think about where it came from and the perspective it lends, it's super powerful. So the boys made this movie. They entered it in a film contest called Sprockets. It's like the film festival for kids in Toronto. They entered this film. The film got disqualified because it's 11 minutes long and it was only supposed to be 10 minutes. However, the committee at Sprockets felt it was so powerful that they would show it anyway. So the boys got to show their movie to a huge audience in a theater, okay? So this big screen and and everybody, all the seats were filled with people and Arnie and myself, we came. And I, and Barb was there too. We all crowded into this theater and we watched their show, their little documentary. And when the documentary was over, the whole audience gave them a standing ovation. It was cool. Like, it was just super cool. Arnie got to see it. He got to be there. Everybody, like, I don't know. We all got dressed up. It was a wonderful, wonderful day. Well, when we have our party, I'm going to show this documentary. And it's only 11 minutes, but I think I might scale it back a little, <laughs> even so. But after we watch this documentary, you will get to meet Max Strachan, who was one of the boys. So now he's all grown up. You won't believe it. He's he's really, he's just gone on to do great things. And he still has this, mindset to help the world and to 
get on board with our project. So super exciting. You, I haven't spoken to him in eight years and he's going to zoom in to our party from St. Louis where he's getting his doctorate. That being said, there's a couple surprise guests that are coming to the party. It's meant to be fun. While one group is in having the presentation, the other group is going to be uh, at the bar. I hope you'll buy drinks and maybe get a meal. I'll have popcorn there for you. And Hollywood swag, baby. They sent, Scott DuPont sent me this beautiful box full of cool stuff he bought downtown in Hollywood. He sent it to me and I was looking through all this stuff that I'm going to raffle off at the party. And it is everything I can do to not just keep it because it's so cool. <laughs> like I want a clapboard for my office. I want a Hollywood sign in my office, but because I am committed to the project and I know I'm going to Hollywood someday to buy these things for myself, <laughs> I'm going to actually give these away. I will part with them. I will open my tight fist and <laughs> give everybody this swag. It's cool. And if you don't know what swag stands for, it is shit we are getting. Um, so very exciting. And I, I gotta tell you, this, this is an amazing journey. And the party is about kind of like welcoming everybody along to, for the ride. So you can know us and you can know Sylvia and you can meet Scott and you can meet Mac and you can, you know, get involved if you want to. Or you can just be my cheerleader. And you know, this town has been an incredible cheerleader for me. And Sylvia is going to see that. And she's going to be blown away by the turnout and by how many people know about Arnie in a place that's 3,000 or more. It's maybe it's 4,000 miles from where he grew up. People know about him and know about his story and still care. Anyway, I just wanted to update you on the progress and um, I will continue to do these podcasts even though they are imperfect. There are dogs drinking water in the background (laughs) and there's life happening here. But I'm here just to show you that even if you feel like something's imperfect, you should share your, your story anyway and you should allow people to come with you because it's about the human experience and human experience includes dogs in my world. (laughs) Have a wonderful day and thank you for tuning in and I'll be back again soon.